Hey guys, went ahead and made this video just in case we weren't here today. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what we were going to talk about today, which is from equations to inequalities. And this is nothing more than everything we've been talking about so far about which side and solving for the variable. So first thing we're going to talk about is the different signs that we use for inequalities. Whenever I say inequality, I mean we are comparing something. Is it going to be greater than, less than, or equal to? I've thrown this at you guys a couple of times for reviews. So far you guys have done really good with it, but we really need to understand when I say inequalities, what inequalities means. Our learning target is going to be that you understand that solving an inequality means to find the set of values that make it true. That's our learning target while we're dealing with inequalities. Here we go. Our first sign means it is less than. When you see the sign, you're always saying something is less than, like 6 is going to be less than 10. I know this is basic, just bear with me while I get through this. The next sign is greater than. We do have some confusion on this. So, less than and greater than. If it's open to the left, it is greater than. If it's open to the right, it is less than. Like, 10 is going to be greater than 4. Those are pretty easy. We got that. So, next we have this sign, which is a little different than what we're used to. And that means it is either less than and equal to. So now the number doesn't just have to be less than 6 or greater than 10. It can actually be 6 is less than or equal to 6. You can actually include the number in a comparison. Back here, you can't do that because if it's greater than, it cannot be 10. It has to be a number that where 10 is going to be greater than 9 and below. It can't be anything more than that or decimals. We're getting there. We're not there yet. Or 6 is less than 10. 6, it can't go below 6. 7 and up will be the numbers that you will choose from. So this is greater than less than or equal to. I'll fill these in on your notes as I'm going through because you also have your notes on this in your folder today. This is greater than or equal to. Right, we have 10 is greater than or equal to 7. Or 10 is going to be greater than or equal to itself. 10. Same over here. You can have 6 is going to be less than, less than, or equal to. I don't like that one. 6 is less than, so 6 is less than 7. Less than or equal to 7, which means anything that's from 6 all the way up to an infinite number that is greater than 6. So, we have our equations and we have our inequalities. What are the differences is what we must know. Our equations have an equal sign, like A is equal to A. The compare, there is no comparison here because 8 is equal to 8. Can another number be equal to 8? No. 8 is the only answer, the only possible answer is 8. What plus 2 equals 5? Well, we know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. Can we put anything else here? No. Only the one, only answer that is possible is 3. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Only one answer possible. Now on inequalities, this is a little different. Because our inequalities could be a bunch of different numbers, and they can vary. Anything from 7 down, you can have 7, 6, 5, 
You can have a negative one, a negative five, anything that is less than eight can fit in this problem. And that's the difference from the equations to inequality. Here we have blank plus two is greater than five. Anything that will be greater than five. So three plus two equals five. How about four plus two? Now we have six. That could be five. That could be six. That could be any number that is greater, greater than five. Understand. The only difference in inequalities, and you guys have learned these in the past, is that equations have only Molly and Maddie Race Pate. You have a checkout. Molly and Maddie Race Pate. You have a checkout. Equations only have one solution. Only one to make things right. But inequalities can have many solutions. <coughs> that is the difference between equations and inequalities. We've been working with the the equations and expressions. That's what we've been working with as one solution. We're about to move on into inequalities. Alright, here we are. Learn target again. It is two. Uh, excuse me. Write the inequality and determine the solutions that make the inequality true or false. We did this Friday. We talked about making the equation true or false. Here we're going to make the inequality true or false. X is greater than 15. So write your equation, X is greater than 15. Over here, it wants you to list the numbers that are true or false. X is greater than 15. Like I said, you can just list a bunch of different numbers up to you what they will be. Anything that is greater than 15. It's false if anything is smaller than 15. Is 14 greater than 15? No. And we know 14 is a smaller number than 15. So x is greater than 15. There's some examples. Here we have x is greater than or equal to 15. Here's where it changes. Greater than or equal to 15. To make it true, we can actually have 15. And then all numbers that are bigger. Same as up on top. But the difference is we can include 15 because it's greater than or equal to. False is anything that is less than this number. Starting with 14 and going down. When you have questions, you email me or send me a message in Schoology and I'll do my best to get back in touch with you and answer your questions the best I can. I'm just trying to prepare us for what we're doing today, which is along the same lines as what we've been doing for the past week. Next one. X is less than 6. X is less than 6. So we're starting at 5 and going down. What is false is anything that is greater than 6, so that would be starting at 7 and going the other direction. Now, so I'm keeping numbers in order because I know you guys can tell if I start counting what direction I'm counting. I know you guys understand. X is less than or equal to 6. So less than or equal to 6 changes here is now we include the 6 with the 5 and the 4 and three and so on. False is still the same thing. False will start with seven and still climb up. That did not change because x is still less than or equal to six. Still the same problem, but now we can include the six in a problem. It doesn't have to start with the five. Which of the following values are a part of the solution set for e each inequality? You're going to take these values and decide which ones are part of the solution. I'll do the first one for you. You guys are going to do this practice on your own. But I'll go ahead and get you started. X is greater than 4. Okay, so we need to pick some numbers out of here that can mean X is greater than 4. Let's see, 0 is less than 4. We got 3. We know 5 is greater than 4. Well, 8 is greater than 4. 
10 and 14. That's all you have to do for this one. Put the numbers in here. That may be an equality true. X is less than or equal to 10. Less than equal to 10. 0 is less than, 3 is less than, 5 and 8 and don't forget to include 10 because it's less than or equal to because of that slash right up underneath the sign. Let's see, do one more. 5 is greater than x. 5 is greater than x. We only have two possibilities. Do not forget to refer back to these. These are the numbers you're looking at. Don't pull just any number out of the sky. I will count it wrong. Use the numbers that you're given. Follow the directions. Alright, and there's only like six more of those for you to do. That should have taken me out in a couple of minutes. These are under the notes, so you definitely want to do this. You will get credit. And then we move on to the next thing. Back to learn target. I can write an inequality and determine the possible solutions that satisfy the situation. That's our learn target. So now we're going to try to solve these inequalities. List three numbers that would be in a solution set inequalities that would be in the solution set inequalities below. X is greater than 14. So you have X, which is larger than 14. So we need to think of three numbers back to fit into this inequality. 15, because X is greater than 15. 20 is greater than 15. 50 is greater than 15. There's three numbers. All these numbers will be different. Everybody will not choose the same three numbers, so don't worry. As long as I get the three numbers that are that make this inequality a true inequality. Alright, there's three numbers that where x is less than eight. Alright, we know we're gonna start with seven because seven is less than eight. You can put down four and you can put down zero. All these numbers are less than eight. X is greater than or equal to 50. Well, we can start with 50 because X is greater than or equal to 50. 50, 75 is greater than 50, 100. Pick any three numbers. Don't use for my examples, but pick any three numbers that you can think of to put here. X is less than or equal to 1. X is less than 1. Well, guess what? We know 0 is less than 1. This is where we'll include our integers that we work with. Think negative and positive numbers. You can put negative 2, you can put negative 10. Anything that's less than 1, we'll go there. I need three numbers. All right, look at the situation below. Circle of numbers have possible answers in each situation. Then write an inequality for the situation. There are two parts to this. Please read the directions. There are two parts. Jessica spent less than $5 at the arcade. So, if she spent less than $5, circle the numbers that are possible in this situation, and then write an inequality for the situation. Jessica spent less than $5. So X is less than five dollars. So anything from four, three, two, one. Inequality, which I did not see that there. Less than five dollars. So she didn't say she spent five dollars. She didn't spend less than or equal to five dollars. It says she spent less than five dollars. And all the only chance is a whole number, so you have to circle a whole number that went with it do that for these following problems. you have any questions, let me know. That might be it for the notes today. Look at that. And that's it. That's what you have to do on this exercise. Now, you do have another practice that you will work on. And then complete that and turn that in. And so we were out of school today. But it'll be okay. We'll, catch, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And if we're not in school tomorrow, you'll have another assignment to do. But it will be along the same lines as what we just did here on the board. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. You guys take care.